Hi, I'm John Manuel Andrea. Thanks so much for checking out my course. I decided to develop Becoming Stonewall Strong, Claim and Build Your Emotional Resilience after 15 years of thinking and researching about resilience and how to tell our story of the challenging times in our lives in a way that helps us keep going in a way that uh, makes it clear that we've been through something that we've lived to tell about. So I wanted to know what gives us the ability to do that. How do we keep going? What do we tell ourselves? What words and language do we use to tell our story? 15 years ago, I faced a very serious medical diagnosis. And one of the results of that experience was that I realized I needed to figure out how I wanted to tell my story. What did I want to say about that experience going forward? What role did it play in my life? And as I thought about it, as I talked with people, as I interviewed people, I'm a health and medical journalist for many years, I realized that it's a choice. Resilience is a choice. And that choice has so much to do with whether we choose to see ourselves as the heroes of our stories, the survivors of difficult and trying experiences, or the victim, the person to whom everything happens. Life just sort of happens to us and we are hapless victims. Well, maybe like you, that's not how I choose to live. I choose to see myself as someone who has faced challenging times and come through them somehow, changed like heroes do, even in the ancient Greek myths. The heroes always faced monsters and gods along their journey who tried to derail them, who tried to harm them, but when the hero arrives at his or her destination, he tells stories of the monsters and gods he fought in order to get here. Here's what I had to do to survive. Here's how this experience changed me. It's very different from saying, oh, the bad monster was out to get me. No, I pulled out my sword, my spear, and I attacked the monster. No matter how frightened I was, I stood up to that monster. And that's kind of how it is in our lives too, our everyday lives. We've all been through challenging experiences. We've lost a job, we've ended a relationship, we uh, have lost a loved one, or we've received a difficult medical diagnosis or a loved one's difficult diagnosis. This course will help you think about the times you have faced challenges in your life and what you told yourself, what you did, the words you used, the music you listened to, to get yourself through so that you would be here for another day. What did you do? I will, in this course, help you to be aware of those things that really were the foundations of your own resilience. And I'll give you basic practical lessons in how you can build your resilience, how, can you, how you build upon what you're already doing and to make you stonewall strong so that like the stone walls of New England with their images of Yankee grit and the persistence and tenacity it took to create them over decades or with the liberating spirit of freedom that animated the Stonewall Riots in New York in 1969. I wanna help you be Stonewall Strong and to choose to see your own strength in yourself to make you the hero and definitely not the victim of your story. Thanks for checking out my course.